Hi, this is Sridhar. We have been discussing about a util file dot util file oracle package. This package is basically used to, to do file operations. If you want to write any content into the flat file, you can do it. Or if you want to write the contents present in a table directly into a flat file, we can do it using cursor. Previously, we have discussed about this one. We have declared the cursor and the cursor is uh, we are selecting all the records from the employees and we are writing each and every record from the cursor into the the flat file using the put line procedure we are writing the value of the cursor into the flat file that is emp file handler and this cursor uh, if if there are uh, only few records then this will work and if there are bi billions of records then in that case we can't go for cursor normal cursor in that case we have to go for bulk concept we should be using the bulk concept so we will be bulkly collecting all the records from the table at a time at a single shot and directly writing into the file instead of using this loop loop and end loop in here in inside the loop and end loop we'll be fetching each and every record only one record at a time we'll be writing into the flat file instead of doing this we are bulkly collecting all the records from the table employees and directly writing into the file handler file handle em emp underscore file let me show you another example the same concept but here we are using the bulk bulk collect here we are opening since we are doing the file operation first we have to open the file util file dot f open and which directory the file resides user dir and what is the file name emp data dot csv this file name is uh, you can specify any file name and which mode you are going to do you are writing into the file you are writing the tables contents into the file so the right mode and the cursor we, we already declared here cursor c1 is selecting all the records from the employees selecting all the records from the employees and uh, it will be assigned to the va variable cursor variable c1 here we are opening the cursor variable and fetching the cursor variable now the cursor variable c1 will be having all the records say if the employees tables is having billions of records and all the billions of records will be stored in the cursor variable c1 and from this cursor variable c1 we, we are going to process so fetch c1 fetch the cursor variable bulk collect into v1 what is v1 v1 is a collection collection variable v1 is a collection variable of data type t1 where t1 is declared here using the type syntax type t1 is table of employees percentage row type employees percentage row type means in the employees table the employees table of row type data type all the rows will be assigned to a single data type so the type t1 is a table and this table is of the data type employees percentage row type indexed by binary integer this is the um, associative associative collection type and whenever you are using this bulk concept definitely or compulsorily you have to use the collection variable because you are bulkly collecting all the values present in this cursor so to store all the bulk values definitely you need a co collection variable you cannot put a normal variable here so fetching the cursor how you are fetching the cursor not by one by one you are fetching the cursor and bulkly collecting bulk collect into the collection variable v1 the collection variable v1 v1 collection variable is of the type t1 where t1 is the table of employees percentage row type employees percentage row type means in the employees table for a particular row the 
for a particular row data type is declared here. There are two built-in types uh, in Oracle. One is uh, column name percentage type and another one is the table name percentage row type. Okay, once the cursor is bulkly collected into the collection variable, everything, all the values now stored in the collection variable. So we no need the cursor now. So we are closing the cursor. So all the values are present in the collection variable v1. So from v1, v1, we will be writing the contents present in the collection variable v1 into the flat file. For that, we will be using this syntax, this one. So for i in v1 dot first means the first index value v1 is a collection variable plc equal ind index by table collection variable for the index by table collection variable v1 dot first means the first index value that is always one and v1 dot last means the last index value of this collection variable v1 so we are doing one by one in this case there are only 106 number of rows so the v1 dot first will be one and v1 dot last will be 106 so for each and every iteration this loop will the loop statement will be gets executed what is the loop, loop statement we are writing the value of employee id and first name into the file handler so using the put lines procedure util dot put line of the two parameters inside this parenthesis are one is the one is a file handler which is a emp underscore file and the another one is the values what are the values employee id and the first name now let me uh, tell you very clearly not only the employee id and first name will be there in the collection variable why because we have declared this collection variable as employees percentage row type not only employee id or not only first name since we have declared it as percentage row type, all the column values are available in the collection variable v1. But out of all the values, we are collecting only v1 of i dot employee id. Only the employee id and the first name we are collecting. If you want, you can put the remaining column values also. v1 of i dot email id, v1 of i dot the phone number, everything you can put it pipeline and the delimiter is the comma variable sorry comma symbol if you want you can extend it otherwise you can leave it but remember this v1 is having all the values of the employees table because we have declared that collection variables as employees percentage row type means row type means the entire row all the columns present in that entire row and it, this statement will be processed for all the records present in this collection variable that is 1 to 106. So from 1 to 106 all the values will be written into the EMP file handler. Closing the loop and closing the file. Let me execute. It's completed. Got it. 106 rows are there as I said if you want you can extend this one also let me give last name also as I said v1 collection variable is having all the column values all the column values it is having even last name also let me put last name v1 of i dot last name run some error definitely there is an error in this statement only because we have newly added this here the error is pipeline missed here clear the error execute it again it's completed you see last name is also included here 
and similarly you can include all the columns and all the columns are available in this v1 variable because v1 collection is of the data type e employees and employees percentage row type so all the columns present in that row will be included here there is one more example it is also very much similar same bulk concept but here we are not using the cursor here i am opening the file util file.f open of the location user dir and the file name emp data.csv and the mode is write mode and assigning all these values all this assigning all the statement to the file handler emp file which is of the data type util file dot file type and without declaring the cursor what i am doing just i am selecting all the values of the employees and bulk collect into the collection variable the syntax is select star select star and the star values are bulkly collected into the collection variable from the employees normally we will be writing like select first name into f name from employees select employee id into emp id emp id is a variable which we declared in the declaration part like this we will be writing same like that for the bulk collect concept we will be writing writing it as select star star means all the values bulk collect into the variable name if you are using bulk collect definitely the variable should be a of collection variable so select star bulk, bulk collect into the collection variable from the table name employees and everything remains same the v1 collection variable is of the data type t1 where t1 is the table of employees percentage row type so the entire row will be assigned to that will be created as this data type and this is a pl sql associative array collection type and once we have collected bulkly collected all the values into the v1 collection collection variable we are processing all the values which are present in v1 now v1 has all the column values of the table employees so one by one we are executing for i in v1 dot first dot dot v1 dot last means v1 dot first will be having the first index that is one v1 dot last will be having the last index value here it is 106 inside the loop we'll be processing the statement util file dot put line put line means we'll be writing the values of the table into the emp file the two parameters to the put line is one is the file handler comma the buffer variable here the buffer variable is we are writing i want to write only employee id first name and last name into the emp file handler so i'm writing it as v1 of i dot employee id concatenated and the delimiter with the comma symbol and v1 of i dot first name and last name ending the loop closing the file let me execute yes completed got the result so this bulk concept is especially used if there are more number of records in the table say here it is employees if there are more number of records then we will be bulkly collecting all the records into the collection variable and processing all the records in the collection variable one by one using this for loop and that's all about it i will wind up this session now next we will be discussing how will you read the contents present in the os file i want to read the contents present in the flat file and displaying the result in the dbms output till now we have discussed only writing the contents into the flat file next we will be seeing how will you read the contents from the flat file flat file in the sense os operating system specific file thank you bye